For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the NCAA cheese, we have some new leaks from the usual suspects that have been really leaking a lot of information when it comes to this game. The Mike Straws of the world and the Matt Browns of the world that have been putting out a lot of information. I got some new information from those guys including some actual gameplay graphics and stuff like that which is brand new just hit the market a couple days ago uh one of which i'm going to show you just hit the market just yesterday in mike straw's stream um, but there's a lot of stuff coming out right now and that's because there's a lot of industry insiders in ea orlando right now playing the game uh you know seeing the game for the first time i got some new graphics for you guys that uh, came out recently that is obviously all come from the same place all the leaks you're hearing about it's coming from these guys these guys are ninjas man they're going in there they're dropping smoke bombs and they're and they're sending this stuff out to the world so i'm gonna give you guys the latest on that all the stuff that these industry insiders are saying about what to expect with gameplay before we actually see gameplay which should happen in about a week or so so if you guys want to see that stuff from here if you guys want to see updates on any information that comes out about NCAA, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, one of the bigger things that came out didn't actually come from any of these sources. It came from the Texas social media pages uh, from the Texas Longhorns. They recently released a, uh, a short video of what their stadium is going to look like in the game. But this is probably the longest graphic that the public has had to consume aside from the actual, um, you know, the trailers that EA has put out, which doesn't necessarily say anything because at the beginning of that trailer, they tell you flat out that this is not necessarily, um, you know, gameplay. This might just be something that they they doctored up for the, for the actual, um, you know, for the trailers themselves, which is something that's pretty standard. Uh, but this footage here, all it really shows is what looks like a, what you might see when you go into a game. If you load into a game playing in Texas Stadium, te in Texas Longhorn Stadium, Stadium. This is probably what you're going to see. It's nothing crazy. You know, you probably see this and you'll see the jets fly over, whatever the uh, whatever the, the the pageantry is going into a game that you typically see in like a man game. This is really what this looks like to me. This looks like what you see before a game starts uh, showing Texas Stadium, which isn't huge, but you do get a good look at things like the crowd, which they say is going to be uh, more of a focal point when it comes to gameplay. Things like chants and uh, you know just stuff like uh, stadium specific stuff that they're expecting. This looks kind of basic and in my opinion i don't know how old the footage is i don't know if they put any more effort into it but the actual crowd itself just looks kind of basic it still looks better than madden's crowd which isn't saying a ton because they don't put a lot of effort into madden's crowd either but this is the first thing we've seen as far as actual gameplay footage to the public as far as um you know stuff that we get to see and not just insiders because uh mike Strahl said that he has footage of uh, some the uh, Navy run the triple option and stuff like that, which um, he obviously can't share because you know these guys just they don't want to get in trouble. The NDAs he said that the NDAs the non disclosure agreements that these guys are signing to see this stuff and to play these games are like threatening litigation and going after these guys financially, which makes a lot of sense because um, this is they've done a really good job. EA's done a really good job of keeping this information bottled up as tight as possible, and I'm, I'm sure it's coming through legal threats. So it's not surprising, but since he's not actually there. And they're not going to be able to figure out his sources, I would imagine. Um, you know, it's not a huge deal. But one of the things that he did share, that Mike Straw did share uh, on his most recent Twitch stream was, and probably the most important thing, because there wasn't a lot going on in that stream, in my opinion, but the most important one was a single image that somebody looked like they snuck a photo of of what looks like the team select when you pick a team in whatever game mode you're playing. Uh, and the graphics looks really good. This is the picture here. It's not even really a great picture, but this is something that he shared on his Twitch stream, uh, and it just it looks sick. I mean, every little bit of information, if you're excited for this game like I am, every little bit of information coming out is massive, uh, and they really put in a lot of effort when it comes to the graphics. Like I said in my last video, and I'll leave a link in the description at the end of, the, end of this video too if you guys want to see more information about all the stuff that's been being leaked uh, aside from just gameplay, which is the focal point of this video. But one of the things that I said in my last video is that this is the first game that is not being ported over from old gen to new gen or to current gen or whatever you want to call it, next gen. This is being made strictly for next gen. So you can imagine that the graphic systems for this will be the best that it's ever been because they're not porting a game over. They're not trying to work on two different versions where they're trying to, to fix the old version on, on, on old gen and create a better version on new gen. This is something where it's just like they're just making it on one console. So it's going to have the most power. I expect the graphics to be the best 
best out of any football game, and I expect the gameplay to be tighter than any previous football game as well. Now, as far as uh, you know, the focal point of this video is, like I said, we're going to focus on just gameplay, just the the leaks about gameplay that are coming out, just so I can give you guys an idea of what to expect when the game comes out, as far as uh, gameplay is concerned, because I know that's most people's um, you know concern. No matter what game mode you play, gameplay is the the center of it, and that's also where they put the most effort. Now, one of the focal points that they said is that they were focusing on making this game feel different than Madden. And these are the ways that they're doing that. Number one, the passing is different. Uh, they said in, if you go to the pre-order on their website, it says that there's new passing mechanics, which is, uh, could be a way of saying that they're, you know, new, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be an entirely new passing system, but they're going to do it in a way that's going to be different than Madden. If you play the old NCAA games, passing was always way more difficult. I remember when I played, I don't remember what the last game was that I played, but I was playing like it's Kentucky or something, and you couldn't throw the ball more than 10, 15 yards down the field with the quarterback they had. And I think that's kind of realistic because a lot of lower level schools don't have the great quarterbacks that, uh, you know, can really push the ball down the field and stuff like that, have big arms. You might have a quarterback that's really not that great. You don't have a ton of great quarterbacks in college. So running is really going to be the the focus of this game and you know that's typical with college football a lot of college football teams really prioritize the run now passing will be different uh but running will be different also and that's because they're going to have a lot of unique plays that you can only find in college football uh, especially when it comes to offense and defense i would imagine but there really isn't a lot of leaks about that as there are a lot of unique defenses as well um but that really makes me wonder because um you know if you play Madden recently, RPOs are very difficult to stop. Defenses aren't programmed really well to stop RPO plays. So it really makes me wonder with all these new offensive systems that they're going to be putting in the game, things like uh, maybe like the spread formations, the wing T, maybe more Wildcat than you typically see in Madden because in Madden you only have like five plays for Wildcat where in uh, college there might be like, you know, much more diverse offenses and stuff like that. You're going to have a lot of offensive formations and this is being reported that are only going to be in college or never going to be in Madden and that's because Madden doesn't use or NFL doesn't use these type of offenses. So expect to see a lot of really unique offensive systems and also expect early on at least the defense not necessarily being able to handle these offensive systems because it really takes a long time for them to program. And this is my opinion. This is not a report, but it just does. It just seems like whenever EA puts something new together, they don't always test it out well enough to realize whether it's overpowered or broken or to the point where it's going to get exploited right away. So I can imagine there will be some offense, whether it's something crazy like the wing T or some sort, some variation of the triple offense or the triple option offense or something like that that's going to break the game right out the gate, and they're going to have to figure out a way to to you know to tweak the defenses to to match. It. Uh, but they've also been developing this game for a very long time, so it's possible that they did all their, their homework and that they balanced the game. It's just not typical what you see when it comes to EA and their games. Typically when they put out a game, uh, although yearly releases are going to be different too, because this is something they've been developing for a very long time, so maybe they put a lot of product testing into it like they don't typically do in a yearly release. It's really hard to say. Um, but one of the things that was being reported by these people is they're saying that the triple option offense is going to be somewhat overpowered, and they also said that if you build build a scheme around this, which is something you also have in Madden. You build schemes, although that's not as important typically uh, as it sounds like it might be in college. But if you build your scheme around something like uh, the wing tee or the triple option offense, um, it's going to, you know, it's going to make sense that you, obviously your receivers are going to catch a lot of passes. So building an offense around that means having really high blocking receivers or really good run blocking linemen or quarterbacks that, um, you know, basically what they're saying was if you build your offense around a type of offense like the triple option, it's going to make that offense that much better, which means that you're going to have more efficient, um, you know, pitch animations and handoffs and it's going to look faster and stuff like that. So like I said, to me, that sounds like it's probably going to be the meta. And that was the thing that I was the most excited about using i keep saying that i love running the triple option in madden and in college when it used to be a game if you watch my channel you know that i run the ravens playbook every single year just for fun i run the pistol option uh the pistol playbook um for years i've been running that just for fun because it's the most fun way to play in my opinion because of that uh because of that system and i can only imagine how overpowered it's going to be in college football when that happens now it says that uh triple option offenses and stuff like that specifically received a lot of developmental attention new animations, 
uh, to make the speed and the efficiency better, which if you run options in Madden, I stopped running it this year because there's a lot of bad animations. You get a lot of funky pitch animations that just don't work out um, and, and result in fumbles. And the risk isn't worth the reward uh, or the reward isn't worth the risk rather. So I stopped doing that because it just seemed to be, it seemed like they did that on purpose because when I was running these triple option offenses, they were really strong. And there was a lot of pro players that were running it too. So it seemed like it was to the point where they wanted to, to nerf it. And it seems like it's going to be the exact opposite when it comes to NCAA. Now, like I said, the game speed in general, though, not just in triple option offenses, but the game speed in general is supposed to be much faster than Madden by design. Now, there does seem to be uh, something that they keep talking about as far as a threshold when it comes to two-star players and teams playing as five-star players or five-star or teams, you know, teams filled with five-star players and stuff like that. It says that you will see a difference when you have uh, five-star players going against two-star players, which is something that every game in Madden has a threshold. I mean, you, you, if you think about with passing, it was always 85 when it comes to accuracies. If your accuracies are under 85, your quarterback can't hit uh, water if you fell out of a boat. Or, you know, you always have thresholds when it comes to throw power, or speed. If you got a, a receiver that's five points speed faster than the quarterback covering, he's going to roast them. You know what I mean? That sounds like the threshold that they're advertising here because I don't, they kept saying that. That's what uh, Mike Stroll kept saying in his, in his Twitch, that all of his sources were saying five star versus two star, five star versus two star. So that means I would imagine that like a three star or four star player could go up against a five star relatively well. But the threshold sounds like it's going to be two star. If you're in a two star school or a two star player filled uh, team, don't expect to be able to knock off Alabama or, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're, don't be don't be able to don't expect to be able to knock off Michigan as Appalach Appalachian State, even though it has happened in the past and it, it can happen in college games. Don't expect that to be very realistic in this game. There will be a huge difference between those different schools. So uh, just just know that. Now another big thing that they're talking about a lot is the fatigue or what they call the wear and tear system, which is going to be very important. They said especially when you're playing longer games, longer quarter games, or simulation style, which you know is always less forgiving than arcade style or competitive style. So if you're using a player, uh, you get number one, they talk about how the ratings of players can go up and down throughout the game. I'm pretty sure they're talking about the wear and tear and the fatigue system that they're talking about here. So it says if players are overused more than they're expected to be used, they will fatigue faster and you might not be able to use them as much in a game as you might want to. So depth is going to be very important on your roster, much like in real college football. There's a lot of, um, you know, that's why they have such large rosters in the first place. You don't typically see a, a work a horse one, you know, one running back system or, I mean, a lot of college just run dual quarterback systems and stuff like that so you got to expect that death is going to be important recruiting is going to be extra important when it comes to dynasty mode and stuff like that um but yeah expect that you know i mean you're gonna you don't expect if you have one guy who's you know 99 speed or something like that you're gonna want to use him the whole game it's not gonna work that way you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pick and choose your spots which is going to be kind of important and, and information in my opinion now they did also um do a lot of new animations uh, a lot of new ball carry animations you see in the trailer he's doing like this uh, stop animation uh, which apparently was in the old game and it was kind of overpowered uh, a lot of one foot drag animations because obviously in college you don't have to get two feet in bounds so they have to record a bunch of new animations like that but there's two sides of that which I really didn't go over in the last video number one yeah, cool. More animations, but isn't that what the Madden community typically complains about is the fact that they want to get away from animation-based football? So more animations might not necessarily be what people want, but it's definitely something that people are excited about right now. Uh, another big thing is equipment. Now, they already talked about how hoodies will be an option because there are a lot of people in college football that wear hoodies. Um, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, you can have like knee pads or, or your, your like knee pads, or your uh, your pants above your knee and stuff like that. There's a lot of different things that they do in college or that are acceptable in college and are acceptable in the NFL when it comes to uniforms that are going to be in the game. And that's because the NFL is uh, much more conscious when it comes to, um, you know, they, they, they basically tell EA, I don't want this or I don't want that, where NCAA doesn't to apparently doing that and giving EA a little bit more freedom. So things like helmets getting knocked off, which e, which uh, the NFL wouldn't want because they don't want that negative uh, look. They don't want that. Uh, they're still trying to get away from the uh, distance themselves from uh, the concussion, uh, the CTE uh, thing that happened a couple years ago that got sued over. They don't want the NFL or football in general to look violent uh, because they're still concerned with you know mothers and fathers and families trying to keep their kids away from playing football. That's still a big concern for the NFL. They, so they're still trying to reincorporate that wholesome image back into the league and make it look safer so that um, you know people aren't turned off by that. But you know they have I guess they're having a little bit more freedom in college, which like I said, it's not confirmed, but it has been uh, proposed that you might see some big hits and helmets get knocked off and stuff like that. So um, that's something that could possibly happen. But like I said, it's not confirmed. It's just something that we're hearing reports about. Uh, it also says that uh, one of the biggest things as far as presentation 
which I went over a little bit in the beginning, is crowd interaction, fight songs, chants, bands, traditions going into the games, uh, just the pageantry of it. But I went over that more in my last video. So if you guys want to see uh, more information about everything that's being leaked aside from just gameplay, which was the focal point of this video, I'll have a, a you know that popping up on screen. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.